can you see the picture on the screen what it is it is looking very beautiful very colorful these are the coral reefs but what happen when such reefs are destroyed hello and welcome to the in depth series of drishti is i am ritu and today session is about coral reef and its massive bleaching so we are going to discuss on to that so before moving to the news part uh, first of all we should know that what we are going to discuss about it so first of all we'll have a brief introduction of the coral reefs and then what are the concerns associated with the coral reefs what can be the done and why here greenhouse gas emission plays an important role so these are the topics which we are going to discuss in today's session so this is the news that uh, when we had accounted in 2017 and 18 that at that point of time about two thirds of the coral reefs were in danger but the recent data shows that around 84% of the coral reefs are in danger and this is a massive destruction to the marine ecosystem so this news which we are going to cover up that how they are going to be very much destructive for the marine ecosystem and as you already know that in this ecosystem everybody is connected with everybody so it's very important to save marine biodiversity so this news which we are going to cover up in today's session coming to the drishti is foundation course so as you already know that drishti is is also in noida and we have isjs foundation course available in both the medium hindi medium and english medium so if you want to enroll into such courses you can call us on 87501 87501 also we have this course available on online medium in the drishti learning app so we have upgraded few features onto the isjs foundation online course there will be a quick summary ai summary so on the basis of your video content there will be a quick summary then there will be ai quiz so on the basis of your video content there will be a quiz so that it can be helpful for your uh, mcq and we have also one provision which is ask me a question so while studying if you have any doubt you can ask question and you can resolve your doubt and for any queries related to drishti is for admission and for anything this is our number coming to the discussion part which is of the heat driven coral stress so first of all we should know that what is coral reef so coral reefs are small animals in short we call it polyps and they have this algae on it we also call it zooxanthellae so they acquire food from the zooxanthellae but what happened due to this uh, global warming the algae started destructing and as a result coral reefs could not get their food and we can see that massive amount of coral bleaching so this is the problem which is occurring and by this problem around 84% of the coral reefs are in the danger so this is the thing that ocean temperature reached record highs in 2024 pushing average sea surface temperature outside polar region to 20.87 degree celsius corals expel their colorful symbiotic algae under the prolonged heat turning white and weakening their ability to feed and resist diseases so why coral reefs are important because around 25% of the marine diversities are dependent on the coral reefs so that's why in order to maintain the marine biodiversity coral reef presence are very much mandatory and it also hampers the tourist it also hampers the so many uh, what you can say economy which is uh, associated with the marine ecosystem then uh, ecological and economic stakes coral reefs homes to 25% marine species we had already discussed this point support fisheries tourism coastal protection against storms and erosion and bleached reefs because this time we are talking that around 84% are in the danger bleached reefs risk collapse threatening food security local economies and shoreline communities worldwide so so many communities are also dependent on the coral reefs because biodiversity decides the economics so this is also one of the thing that uh, so many communities are also worried about the declining and bleaching of the coral reefs we'll discuss some more aspects to it escalating severity and monitoring So NOAA's coral reef watch added new alert levels to capture unprecedented thermal stress and mortality risk. 
and experts warn that ocean warming may soon never fall below bleaching threshold and this has signaled that there is a chronic it means that for the longest time or long term threat to the reef survival so through a threshold uh, there is a threshold but if we are crossing even that threshold this can become a problematic and this can cause a what you can say chronic breaching then here we will discuss restoration efforts underway so there are coral uh, nurseries and uh, in the form of coral juice in the sechelis we have seen that the fragments are controlled in coral juice so that uh, we can uh, maintain their biodiversity and then we can plant it again to the uh, what you can say any marine uh, ecosystem then we have another rescue mission project such as off florida a uh, rescue hit straits coral nurts them back to the health and then we plant them on the reef so if you are talking about that is there any restoration plan is going or not then scientists and experts have taken various kind of initiatives to restore the coral reefs but here is also one of the thing that this can be the additional and supplementary thing what we have to do is that in order to protect the coral reefs in order to maintain the marine biodiversity we have to be very careful and we have to cut the emission we have to cut the greenhouse gases we have to take care of that co2 should not be present in abnormal amount so here is the main thing that those initiatives can be helpful but if you are able to control the co2 if you are able to control the methane and various other greenhouse gases then we are able to protect our coral reefs so this is the main uh, thing which we have to focus on then also policy challenges because there are so many policy challenges are coming in and around the world so many countries are taking part of this uh, what you can say environment protection program on the other hand what we have seen that various uh, uh, what you can say uh, developed countries like america and uh, so many other countries are moving away from the environment protection program and they are not contributing to it. it instead of contribution they are criticizing the environment conservation program and that will have a massive impact on the protection of marine biodiversity and as a result not only just america will suffer but the continents are attached the environment and ecosystems are attached the economies are attached and this is going to have an impact on it, on entire world so this is not just related to america and argentina so there are some policy gaps so we need some immediate and coordinated efforts combining emissions cuts and reef restoration and as uh, what we can see that melane macfield of the global coral reef monitoring uh, network says that inaction is the key kiss of the death for coral, coral reefs so here we are not initiating anything for the protection of the coral reefs then this inaction will lead to the death of the reefs so we need to be active in this arena and we need to make this as a priority in order to save the marine diversity and this should be the part of the policies this should be the part of the agendas of the various government and this must be discussed now we are going to discuss about the practice question for prelims which of the following statement about the recent global coral reefs breaching event is our correct it is the fourth mass bleaching event uh, since 1998 approximately 84% of the world's coral reef were affected during this event the primary cause is oceanic acidification due to increased atmospheric co2 select the correct answer uh, using the code given below 1 and 2 only 2 and 3 only 1 and 3 only 1 2 and 3 so this is the end depth and this is very much important for your gs3 so you have to answer this into the comment section also what you have to do here is that you have to find out the key words of this whole discussion so what are the key words of this whole discussion one is coral reefs another is coral breaching third is that zooxanthellae then a uh, fourth is algae photosynthesis then we have various other policy majors programs uh, what you can say coral juice so here these are the words which are very much important and there are chances that in prelims examination they can ask questions from this session so be careful while reading and you have to pay attention on each word so that's it for today's session i hope you like this session if you have any queries later this session 
kindly ask into the comment section thank you have a nice day For more informative content like share and subscribe and do not forget to press the bell icon to get the notifications